Okie dokie. So for chapter 14 bingo, I have 14.74. Says that we have an object with a mass of 0 0.2 kilograms is acted upon by an elastic restoring force with a force constant K of 10 newtons per meter. And then uh, we're uh, given that mm -hmm. uh, here we are that our uh, initial potential energy is uh, 0 0.14 joules and our initial kinetic energy is equal to 0 0.06 joules uh, let me see what else do we need here. All right, cool. And then we're asked to first find the amplitude of the oscillation. So to do that, we can, uh, since we're given um, a value for our uh, potential energy, we can just use the equation for uh, potential energy of a spring, which is the potential energy is equal to one-half k times the amplitude squared and then just solve this equation for a so we have k a squared is equal to 2 times the potential energy and then a squared is equal to 2 times the potential energy over the spring constant and then we have a our amplitude is equal to the square root of twice our potential energy over our spring constant and we already have both of these values given in our problem. So we can just plug that right in as the square root of twice our um, potential energy over our spring constant. And then just solve for, uh, just do all this math anyway. And then that's going to come out to be... 0 0.17 meters or 17 centimeters um, yeah and then so part B asks us to uh, find what the potential energy is when the displacement is half of our amplitude so to do that honestly we can just use this equation we had at the start here and plug in half of our amplitude that we found here in for that value. So let's go ahead and do that. That's going to be u is equal to one half times our spring constant times half of our amplitude squared, which is going to be 5 times 0 0.17 2 squared, which comes out to be 0 0.036 joules as our potential energy at uh, half of our amplitude for displacement. Okay, and then the next part asks us to find uh, what is the displacement when our potential energy is equal to our uh, kinetic energy. And that simply is just when um, our displacement x is equal to um, uh, half of the amplitude. We found that earlier. And then the next problem asks us to find the phase angle when our velocity is positive and our displacement is negative. So first what we want to do is just uh, put in the equation for the phase angle phi is equal to arc tangent of negative velocity over angular frequency times our amplitude. All right, and then uh, this one is going to be kind of fun because we don't know any of the, well, we know the amplitude now, but for the rest of this, we don't know any of these, uh, these two variables here, so we have to find those. Um, so first, uh, we have... Um, just from equations in the book, we have that our velocity is equal to the square root or spring constant over the mass times the amplitude. 
So we do know all of these variables now, so we can just plug in 10 newton meters over 0 0.2 kilograms times our amplitude, which was 0 0.17 meters, 0 0.17 meters. And then we do all that math, and that's going to give our velocity as, other side, as 1.2 meters per second. All right, so now we have that written right here in our original equation, so we can just erase all this stuff on the right and have our equation for um, our angular frequency being just the square root of k over m. And we found this value as we are going through looking for the velocity. Uh, so that's just going to be... Um, 7.07 .07 radians per second. Let's go ahead and put that in here. And from the problem, we know that we want our uh, angular... Um, let me see. Oh, our position is negative. So this is actually supposed to be position, not amplitude. Pardon me. So we can just put a little negative out here. 7.07 .07 radians per second, and then we have our position, um, which we can find from whoops, what we did earlier with our equation for potential energy of a spring, and just solve that for x, which is what we did at the very start. So we have x is equal to square root um, over spring constant. And then we found this number earlier, that's our amplitude, so just 0 0.17 meters. 0 0.17 meters. So in this problem, our meters cancel out, our seconds cancel out, these two negatives become a positive, contrary to what we learned in Sunday school, and then we just have that this is um, this value inside of the arc tangent is going to be in radians, which is what we're looking for. So this is going to be a tan arc tangent of 0 0.998 radians. And that's going to come out to be 45 degrees is our phase angle. And that uh, wraps up 74.